this is Amy with Crochet Jewel Channel. I'm going to show you how to make a crochet baby blanket. The pattern is done in multiples of 9, so you can do like 9 times 12, and then add 7 to that multiple, and then add 3 for the turning chain. And I did a baby blanket with a chain count of 151 plus 3 with an app hook, medium worsted yarn, and you can continue on with the pattern until you reach 52 inches. The pattern is down below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to do a chain count sample here, not the entire blanket. So you want your chains to be somewhat loose. Okay, add three for your turning chain and then in the third chain from the hook work a double crochet with an F hook. You can always go bigger on your hook if you'd like. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. If you need your video to go slower, you can always place it in slow motion. The link is down below. This first row is going to be a double crochet in each chain across until you get to the end. I'm going to add a new color, so I'm adding white. I'm just going to slip it through and then turn my work. And then chain three and turn and work one double crochet in the next three stitches. So the ends will be four double crochet with that chain three and then the rest is going to be done in three double crochet and three skips. And three chain threes. Okay, so now I'm going to chain three and then skip three stitches. And then work a double crochet in the next three stitches. Now chain three and skip three stitches and work three double crochet again. This is all repeat until you get to the end. Okay, you're going to skip those three stitches and then work one double crochet in the last four stitches. And so your both of your ends are going to have four double crochets on this row. You can always just do three. That messes with the chain count though. Okay, it's going to look like this, and then you're going to add a new color. Okay, I'm going to pull through with a new color, the blue, and then I'm going to chain one and single crochet. And then I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to double yarn over and double crochet 
pin those three double crochet underneath that chain three. So yarn over, insert your hook in that stitch of the double crochet, and then yarn over, pull through the two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then just repeat those three double crochet. And it's going to look like this, and then chain three, and then you're going to repeat in every three double crochet under the chain three. Just work your double crochets until you get to the end and then you'll alternate between those rows. End with a single crochet, but don't finish your single crochet and bring up your next color, which would be the third color. I'm using purple and then pull it through. And then you'll start your next row. Which is a repeat row. So now you're just repeating a chain three and turn and then work your three double crochet right into the white three double crochet and this is just all repeat now and then I'm going to show you how to end the top once we work this row and finish off the other row so you're going to do the three double crochet and then chain three and then three double crochet again Okay, you're at the end, you're going to chain three, it's going to look like this, and then you're going to end with your double crochets. Okay, you're going to end with a double crochet and then pull your next color that you'll be working with through which is the white pull it through the last two and start your next row and this is repeat now you're going to alternate between the two rows so after this you're going to chain one and single crochet turn and single crochet and then chain three and then you're going to chain three and then work your three double crochet and the three double crochet below the chain space and this is all repeat and then I'm going to show you how to end it so when you're blanket and you have the width 
that you desire, then after that, I'm going to show you how you can finish it. This is just a little sample piece here. Okay, so the bottom has double crochets when it was started. So I'm going to show you how to end it when you have all of the rows that you would like to make this blanket. You're going to chain three and then in those three double crochet, work three double crochet. And this is how you can end it so the top looks like the bottom. And then your, um, your ends you'll have to weave in with your yarn needle and you can add uh, the sides. You could add a single crochet on the sides to finish it. And then this is for your top. You will work three half double crochet to match your double crochet. And this is how you'll finish it for the top. Okay, and then you're just going to repeat three double crochet and then three half double crochet until you get to the end. And then since you're at the end here, you're going to finish with four double crochet when you complete the top border and then this pattern will be complete. You're just alternating between those two rows like I showed you back and forth and then you can end with this top for your border to match your bottom. And then, like I said, just weave in your ends on the sides and you can maybe do like a single crochet on the sides too to finish it if you like. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. So you're going to go back and forth. Um, one row is the chain one single crochet and then chain three. You're going to skip three stitches. And then the next row is chain three and do three double crochet and then repeat. So you will repeat between those two rows and then finish with that top so it matches the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.